Of the seven people rescued after the gas platform explosion yesterday, two are now being treated at a burn center in Baton Rouge. Jacqueline Quinn spoke with a surgeon to learn more about blast injuries and how to treat the patients who survived them. The initial blast shook several neighborhoods in Kenner. Things fell off tables. Uh, it sounded like a bomb drop. Then the enormous fire lit up the sky as crews rushed in to put it out. Seven that have been have been transported to the hospital. Remarkably, crews were able to rescue seven people and take them to nearby hospitals. Later, two were transferred to the Baton Rouge General Hospital where there's a specialized burn unit. Uh, that tells me they had significant burn injuries. Oftentimes, these patients are in the hospital for months. Dr. Abigail Chaffin is a surgeon and burn specialist with the Tulane Medical Center in New Orleans. She routinely sees people that come in with minor or first degree burns, but the victims from the explosion likely all suffered much more serious injuries. An explosion causes essentially a blast injury, which could cause injuries throughout the entire body. That means there could be damage to internal organs as well as severe burns that penetrate through to the skin, potentially all the way to the bone. Your body would have a hard time healing that with no remaining skin left in that area. So the dead skin needs to be removed and then replaced with skin grafts from the rest of your body in most cases. Chaffin says the burn center is the only one nearby certified by the American Burn Association. Therefore, the patients will get expert care. And earlier, a doctor with the General Hospital explained how they were treating the two patients they received. So we treat an oil rig explosion just like a normal motor vehicle accident. We, we assess them from head to toe and we figure out what are the things that would be the most impending and you fix those first. Back here at home, Dr. Chaffin says it could be a long road for recovery. Uh, they also undergo pretty intensive physical therapy and occupational therapy to get their burned limbs working again. And now Dr. Chaffin is hoping the two patients the best. In New Orleans, Jacqueline Quinn, Eyewitness News.